السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. My name is Yaqad Zaman. Welcome to this video, guys. We are doing uh, the 40 hadith of Quran by Mullah Ali Qari. Right, so we've reached hadith number 15 now. So let's have a go at hadith number 15. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Wa ala ibn Umar radiyallahu anhuma qala sami'tu Rasool Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yaqul la hasad illa ala sinatayn. رجل آتاه الله هذا الكتاب فقام به آناء الليل وآناء النهار ورجل أعطاه الله مالا فهو يتصدق به آناء الليل وآناء النهار رواه البخاري ومسلم ابن عمر رضي الله عنه relates I heard the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم saying envy is not permissible except in two people a person to whom Allah has given his a person to whom Allah has given his this uh, book and he lives by it by day and night a person to whom allah has given wealth and he spends it in charity by day and night related by al-bukhari and muslim so this is the hadith so let's look at this hadith then so let me explain a few things first of all for us to understand so first and foremostly what we have to understand is that in life not everyone is the same right so for example like you know imagine like charts some people are a bit higher than others, some people are lower than others, some people have more than others, some people have less than others. Every single person is different, right? You can have someone, for example, like maybe has got a, a very high paying job and someone's got a less paying job. Yeah. You might have someone who is uh, driving a very fancy car and someone who's driving a less fancy car. You might have someone who is who eats... Uh, all sorts of food and someone who doesn't really have the opportunity lots of food someone might have lots of education someone might have less education right so there's all these different types of people that Allah has has uh, has has created and he's given them different opportunities and Allah gives people different opportunities because that's how the world works if everyone became doctors then the world wouldn't be able to function if everyone became accountants the world wouldn't be able to function if everyone was rich then the world wouldn't be able to function so Allah has created a divine decree a measure and he's precisely measured and inspired people to be able to go for different things all right and so this divine decree that Allah has Allah says in the Quran that رَفَعْنَا بَعْضَهُمْ فَوْقَ بعض. some people we've given them a status like above others لِيَتَّخِذَ بَعْضُهُمْ بَعْضًا سُخْرِيًا so they can utilize each other's expertise this is how the world functions we have an array of a variety of things like in a garden you have an array of flowers and plants and all these things make society now one of the things that is not allowed for us to do is in arabic called hasad hasad is for a person to be jealous jealousy is not allowed what is jealousy so jealousy is when a person he wants there's two levels of jealousy all right let me write down two levels of jealousy there's two levels of jealousy there's a a high level of jealousy and then there's a slightly lower level of jealousy the high level of jealousy is where you want something and you don't want the other person to have it so you want and you don't want right so let's say someone has a car you want that car and you don't want them to have it and Number two is where you want something and you don't really care if they have it or they don't have it. You you want that thing, right? You want that thing. So the first type is not allowed, right? And there's actually a worse type than this where you don't want something, but you don't want them to have it as well, right? So there's a worse type. I'm not going to mention that. So this one's totally not allowed. This one, on the other hand, this one, on the other hand, this is allowed sometimes. And when is it allowed? So let me just show you an example. So this is, this is the world, right? You guys like me drawing the world. Let me just, I hope my map drawing skills are what they used to be. Okay, it's not a very accurate one. Okay, but I'm sure you guys understand what I'm drawing here. So, do you guys like drawing as well? Do you guys enjoy uh, drawing things and colouring them in? Leave in the comments if you guys 
are coloring enthusiasts like me. So in the world, we have all these different things happening. And we said you, you're not allowed to want something and you don't want the other person to have it. That's not allowed. So you can say in the world, things are divided for a Muslim in two parts. One is Islam and one is wealth. Yep. So Islam and wealth are two important things. Everyone needs both of them, right? When you have both of these things, then you're able to do lots of things. And when you don't have one of them, then you're going to be uh, unable to do lots of things that you're capable of doing. So what is wealth needed for? Wealth is needed for, you know, living on earth. And to be able to do all those things that you want to do. You want to get a job, you want to eat, you want to drink, all those things. Wealth. And the Islam, what you need for Islam is Quran. Because Quran is the key to Islam. And then everything else comes from that. Yeah, obedience to Allah, praying, salat, all these things. So the rule is this. Anything that is going to motivate you, anything that's going to motivate you to do good, right? You're allowed to have hasad. So you basically you're allowed, this is permissible jealousy you can say which they call ghibta or envy right why because let's say there's a person and this person thinks to themselves you know what i wish i knew quran like this person let's say there's a guy who knows quran or the lady who knows quran and they read the quran all day and they act upon it and you wish you know what subhanallah i wish i was like this person i wish i knew islam like this i wish i could this is allowed this is so you're allowed to have this type of why? Because everything that a person does who knows the Quran is a very good thing, excellent thing. So being motivated in that is a very good thing. And the other one is a person who has wealth and they spend their wealth in charity, not in wrong places. So as long as they spend their wealth in charity, you you see this person, you think, subhanAllah, I wish I had this much wealth and I could give it in charity as well. So this is something you're allowed to do then. In other words, you are allowed to have this type of jealousy because you don't want them not to have it as long as you don't want them not to have it right as long as that's not there but you you want you want it and you know you don't mind them having it as well then this is a good thing this type of hasad is a very good thing because it's motivational hasad and it motivates people to do what they do and look at the sahaba the companions of the prophet sallallahu they were motivated with each other by doing all of these things so may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability to be able to appreciate the value and the beauty of the teachings of Islam and create inside of ourselves this type of hasad and also um, the, the, the wealth that people have. May Allah give us that love of wealth so that we can give charity, not love of wealth that takes us away from Islam. That type of love of wealth is a wrong thing. But the love of wealth that enables us to help the poor people, this is the type of love that we want. Jazakumullah khair guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful time. If you haven't subscribed, I suggest you subscribe, hit the bell button, and share it with your friends and family. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakumullah khair for watching this video. I hope to see all of you guys. If you guys are interested, please leave us feedback, get in contact with us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakumullah khair guys for all of your support. Without your support, I wouldn't have been able to produce the videos that I've put up on my YouTube channel. And there is so much more that I really want to do. And without the support of you guys who are patrons, generously supporting this channel, I've been able to get myself a camera, which as you guys can see, the quality of this camera, a mic system, software, I've been able to hire an editor. So what do I want to do? I want to make lots and lots and lots of more videos for beginners, for intermediate, advanced, in the subjects like Arabic and Fiqh and Hadith and Tafsir and Aqidah and all those other things as well. And for this to happen, again, this channel needs support. So if you guys want to become patrons and support this channel, then check out the link below. Also, if you do become patrons, you'll have access to videos that I don't put up on my normal YouTube channel. So check that out, inshallah. And there's most other perks as well that you guys can uh, benefit from. And if you want to um, access... Uh, this channel through social media we've got twitter we've got instagram facebook page and other things as well that you can visit so jazakumullah khair again guys thank you very much for your support 
Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.